why are my videos getting such low views what am i doing wrong now if you have ever made a video on youtube you have probably asked yourself this question or you are asking yourself right now i know i have asked myself that question so many times and so in this video i'm sharing with you three simple strategies that you can use to increase views on your channel and it's really not as complicated as you make it sound these tips are simple you can start doing them from today and you will see some serious results so the first thing that i recommend and that i did that has given me some serious views is pick a target audience okay not necessarily a niche because your niche might change but you need to know who you're making videos for so that the better you know your customer the better you will get at serving them and then the more they will come back and then the more they will see your videos it's as simple as that so let's say you are making videos for your target audience is new moms okay new moms there's so many things you can make for new moms and let's be more specific you say new moms who want to lose their baby weight so you could start by making videos of like simple recipes to make postpartum that will also help you lose weight while still maintaining your milk supply. So you make a video, you make two, you make three, you make four, but then you realize you're not getting as many views. So you go like, okay, which other way can I help this mama lose some weight if she wants to, you know, and all that. So then you could say, um, simple 30 minutes workout that you can do at home while your baby is resting. So you make these videos and you realize, oh my goodness, I'm getting a bit more views than the ones about the recipes then you go like okay how what if i made it 30 minutes workout that you can do with your baby at home you get even more views you understand so the most important thing is know who you're making videos for because that way you'll be able to know how to serve them better and then you will be able to get more views because really you cannot make videos for everybody you cannot because if you try to reach everybody you'll end up reaching no one so please know who you're making videos for write down okay this is my target audience okay this 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 a person who does this 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 is this and you will increase your chances of getting way more views than you ever thought possible the second thing you need to do is to focus on your thumbnails please did you know that every minute there are 2500 videos uploaded on youtube 2500 so every time i upload a video i ask myself why should anybody pick this one video out of the other 2449 that have been uploaded this very instant and the most important thing is you need to stop the scroll okay you need to just make someone see your thumbnail like okay this is the video i want to watch this is so important anyone who is anyone who tells anyone about youtube they'll be telling you you need to put in a lot more effort in your thumbnail so for starters do not let youtube pick your thumbnail for you you know like there you upload your video and then youtube picks a thumbnail mm -mm. click on the custom thumbnail link and have a custom thumbnail as in make it design it go to your niche let's say for instance you want to make a video on how to bake a chocolate cake go to youtube type in there how to make a chocolate cake you will get all these many videos then you will go to filter and filter according to views and so that the videos with the highest views come first and then try to find something common about those videos okay why are these videos getting the highest views when it comes to how to make a chocolate cake is it because they've put in this nice chocolate cake covered in chocolate fondant and, and all that or is it because they have the face of the baker they're smiling saying you know that face or is it because they've written in big bold words easy chocolate cake cake okay you know what i'm saying just go through study the leading thumbnails and before you even start filming your video design your thumbnails i know i know you might have had this before i had had this for up to like two years <laughs> of my journey on youtube and i never used to do it i was like yeah, yeah you say that but yeah. you know so i would film an entire video we would edit the entire video we will do everything and then at the last five minutes we'll be like okay so now what's going to be the thumbnail for this video and then we'll just pick some things some random things post them together and boom we'll put it out there and then we'll be like why are we not getting views so think about your thumbnail even before you start filming your video design it know okay my thumbnail is going to have this color and this color this is what i'm going to write 
and all that, have it ready and then make a video and then upload it. So important, I cannot stress this enough, think about your video thumbnails a lot more than you actually think about the main video. It makes such a big difference in views, trust me. Tip number three is so simple, and I'm not saying it's easy, but I'm saying it is simple. It is simple, it is a no-brainer. When I figured it out, I was just shocked. And this is increase the uploads that you're doing on your channel. This is something I tried myself and I have seen it makes a big difference. Because let's say you're uploading one video and you're getting 200 views. Then another one the next week, another 200 views. So in a month, you're getting about 800 views. But what if you decided to upload three videos per week? So these three videos would get you 600 videos per week, 2,400 views in a month. So you've literally not done anything. You've not increased the quality. You've not bought a new camera. You've not hired an editor. You've just done what you're doing, but more of it. And you have just like six X or three, three times your views just like that. And I like this quote by Alex Omozi because he, he said something that really helped me to understand the importance of actually doing more. And here's what he says. So many times we are doing the right stuff. We're just doing way, way too little of it. Most people dramatically underestimate the amount of volume and effort that is required to get to where you want to go. Volume and effort. As in like, if you just multiply your input times three, you automatically multiply your output times three. You get what I'm saying? And it's not even times three because the more you upload videos on YouTube, number one, the more confident you get because now you know you're doing it more often. So pra practice, practice brings what? Perfection or progress, not perfection, progress. So you get more confident at camera. And then you're even getting more data back from the algorithm. So you're understanding, okay, people like this video, they didn't like video. So you're able to compare. You have more videos, so you have more data. So you'll be able to make better informed decisions. Number two, and the other benefit of increasing your uploads is basically you have, the algorithm has more videos to recommend to your viewers. So let's say if there's a channel with 10 videos, the algorithm recommends 10 videos to the audience, okay? But compare it to a channel that has 100 videos, as in the algorithm is pushing out 100 videos for you out there. And that means you're definitely getting more views. So increasing your uploads is very important. It calls for better time management, of course, just being willing to work a little bit harder. But yeah, if you 10x your effort, you 10x your results. It's that simple. And because you have stayed up to this point, I have to share with you a bonus tip that has really, really helped me to increase my views on my channel. And this is create a series of videos make videos in episodes such that when a person watches this video it automatically makes them curious to watch the next one and the next one and the next one you know how series work on netflix or wherever else you might be watching tv very very easy to get a lot of views because the person after they watch this one will always want to go and see okay what happens next all right and now this works only if you direct your viewer to the next video okay so what you do is you make a video and then at the end of publishing it you put one end screen and you tell them watch this video next to see what happens and then they will go there and then at the end they'll watch the next one and the next one and the more they get to watch your videos voila the more views you are getting so it's really important don't put like four end screens at the end of your videos i used to do this but when i learned this trick i only put one end screen i don't even put the subscribe button or the word button i put one end screen and that's the video that i want the viewer to watch next and so they end up watching like a series like this and it really helps to increase the views so very very important and for me i think the highest video views i've ever received is a video where i got seven hundred thousand views i'm telling you and that was very exciting for me but you might even be more excited to hear how much youtube actually paid me for that video and that's why you need to watch this video next to see how much youtube paid me for a video with seven hundred thousand views and i'll see you over there see what i did there <laughs>